Rick Santelli standing by is going to have the numbers, Rick. Yes, Mike, we're anxiously awaiting. There's a litany of numbers. Retail sales claims, import, export prices. Let's start with retail sales, shall we? Uh, last month, we had the weakest reading at down one-tenth of a percent going all the way back to March. We jumped up to up three-tenths, much better than expected. And that's going to comp us back to last, well, this past September, because this past September, it was up to nine-tenths. So that's a nice pop. Last month, actually, now moves from minus one-tenth of a percent to down two-tenths of a percent. Now, let's strip out autos, shall we? And it still remains nicely positive, up two-tenths. We're looking for down a tenth, up two-tenths. Well, that's the best read also since September. Strip out autos and gas, it really zooms. So you can see how gas figured in. This is three times expectations at up six-tenths. Up six-tenths also comps to September. Now, let's take the control group. Double expectations up four tens. That's the best since July. Now let's flip gears here to initial jobless claims. 202,000. That's versus a slightly revised 221,000. 202,000 is the lightest going all the way back to October 13th, second week in October. Unbelievable how well behaved this is. And it really reminds me of how we've had a pillar change with the Fed yesterday. We've gone from fighting inflation to potentially fighting recession. So these labor uh, and jobs numbers and initial claims are going to be very important. Continuing claims stay under 1.9 million, 1,876,000, 1,876,000. Well, last month it was 1,856,000 on a subtle revision. Now, if you think you were, we're done, we're not. Import-export prices for November. Import prices down half of what was expected and down four-tenths of a percent. Down four-tenths of a percent is the weakest number. Well, just since last month when it was down six-tenths, revised from down eight-tenths, you have to go back to September when we were up four-tenths. If we look at ex-petroleum, the number significantly improves, once again, giving us very big clues on what petroleum prices did. Now the number pops up to up two-tenths of a percent, the mirror image of the minus two-tenths we're expecting. And it remains uh, uh, eight out of 11 months now. Eight out of 11 months had a negative sign. And then in these instances, negative signs are considered good. Now, let's go year-over-year year. import prices, minus 1.4, less than a minus 2.1 expected. And if we look at month-over-month, month, down 9 tenths of a percent. That's about in line with expectations. And finally, export prices year-over-year, year, down 5.2, exactly as expected. That means 10 out of 11 months are negative. That is indeed a good thing. If you summarize all of this, all of a sudden, retail sales and claims really matter. We see yields jumping all the way up to 398. 398, the low water mark for this move intraday is today, tonight, 3.93%. Uh, we see that at 3.97, we're down about four basis points, and it underscores how quickly we went from 5% to 4%. And I'll leave you with one thought, Mike, uh, the word asymmetric. I found something that Powell said yesterday very important uh, with reference to higher for longer. He said we don't want to be seen as hanging on too long, meaning for that higher for longer. Asymmetric, I don't ever remember them being worried about hanging out too long when it was too low for too long.